uh, but it may be something that they need to do in the NCAA tournament. So you practice it during these games to see how it feels and how much success you have. Drew Timmy, so patient with the footwork underneath the basket. They're having to work it around. Alcantara from the corner, perfect on the three. It's right to that logo, right in front of the logo area, hits the brakes. Great footwork. Wow, what a basket for Josh Parrish. And don't you think most teams have to take that tact? I always saw BYU try to get on the offensive glass a little bit against Gonzaga. What a steal by Cook. Here come the Zags. Whoa, what a pass from Nemhard. He just knew. Team for some minutes for the Zags. Suggs, Cook, and Nemhard all out there together. This is Andrew Nemhard. Timmy, another offensive rebound. They're having a hard time containing him. Katera back in the game. That's a turnover. And now this happens. When you face the Zags, you turn it over like that. Ahead of his time. Ben Sullivan tried to touch pass it to Masalski, but that was fumbled. Timmy, the big man, can lead the break. He can do just about everything. Jalen Suggs rattles it in. Need to advocate for kids who come from high schools and places that don't give them the support that other kids get. And these kids deserve chances to be at our schools. And ultimately, I think John Thompson was an incredible advocate. Since then, he's played 44 minutes. He scored 48 points. He's 19 for 23. 19 for 23. Okay, and now 20, 20 for 24. For, catches the ball. There's never a sense of panic. Look at the poise. He surveys. I would say this. It goes back to my initial statement. Kispert, Suggs, and Timmy are all to be on All-American teams at the end of this year. Everybody's writing off Kansas. Now, all of a sudden, they're back in the top 25. They beat Texas Tech today. Texas had some fighting amongst themselves in a game that they were up by 19. And then watch all go away down the stretch. Their goal is to win a national championship. That's been the goal since day one. And it remains their sole purpose and their sole focus of the season. But that move by Jared Rodriguez. You don't get bored. And you, and you know what? You, you talk about plays like this and you go, hey, why did that happen? Cook tried to find Watson, turned it over. Overpassing there. That's one where Cook needed to take the shot. Daga with a 41 to 19 lead despite the fact that they have not made a three in this first half which is kind of hard to believe of course when you have Drew Timmy who never misses a shot from the field period I guess you don't need the three-point bucket let's face it they're sick of watching you and me Kispert that's with not a steal true. nobody is Dave do not say that <laughs> they probably <laughs> good with a foul out. Corey Kispert's going to knock down some shots. Nemhard has proven that he can knock down some shots. Suggs is getting better from shooting from beyond the arc. Whoa, so while what a move by Nemhard. That's the versatility that this team has. Yeah, I, 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 I tend to agree with you, and I definitely agree that come big game time, Kispert, a lot of those shots are going to go in. That's a bucket with a foul. A great back cut by Kispert. He wanted that one, too. Yeah, he missed it. Zags don't miss a lot. Timmy, what a look for Suggs. Watch this possession for San Diego. How much movement okay. do they have? How many guys are standing around? And if you're not moving and forcing the defense to have to rotate and shift, I mean, that is a heck of a move. But you're going one-on-one. -on -one. That's all we had to do to get Farnham to stop talking. We are incredibly thankful. <laughs> <laughs> there, there are a few others I can think of that would fall in that category as well. Nice move by Kisper with the left hand. I expect them to be sold out tonight. If you're in Spokane, you should be driving there now. And buy it. <laughs> we know they got the game on. Oh, what, what a nice play by Suggs oh, to get that. through traffic. My goodness. Refocusing on what we're, what we're doing here um, is that they can coast and they could still be up by this margin. You know, you wonder when the intensity picks back up. Well, you could argue that Kispert is the best pure shooter in the country, certainly one of them, that uh, maybe his night is finished. But baseline dunks it. Whoa. Aaron Cook, I'm, I wasn't sure he had that in him. See the eyes on the guy that was sitting down? <laughs> like, did that just happen? Yeah, that's what my eyes look like. I mean, he's their third string point guard. Although that's really not fair to Aaron Cook. It undersells how good... He is as a player. Well, that pass stolen by Cook. That was easy. And this oh, time with the left hand. 
both. He is. I'm going to get and then you can tell kind of when he threw the little bounce out that he was trying to get his footwork right to do it. And then you challenge. It's not necessarily Anthony Edwards good because that was just silly last night. It's been from Murrieta, California with his first bucket. And he's just driving right to the basket. There's four minutes left to go in a game. But with their season, and we talked to Sam Scholl about this. He said after the second pause that there was some guys on the team that actually were, were questioning whether or not they should continue to play. Correct. Yeah, the talent is a big part of it. Pavel Zakharov hit a three, the big man. Will Graves, I think, is out there for the Zag, getting some minutes in a game. Guerreros will dunk it home with Humphrey. Hey, you know what? We left off. A WCC coach. Final seconds are going to tick off the clock. 106 to 69, Sean. The number one team in the country continues to impress. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.